All right, let's uh, let's take a look at this. Mary Kay Cabot uh, talking about some arms that are in camp now. A.J. McCarron and Josh Rosen <laughs> worked out for the Browns today. Now, it's important to note, I didn't realize, McCarron was a backup for Deshaun Watson uh, for two seasons with the Texans. Also, Mary Kay saying uh, Cam Newton not on the uh, Browns radar as far as that backup. Um, assuming they're looking for a backup, potentially, um, for Jacoby Brissett if Watson gets suspended for, you know, half of the season or something like that. Um, are those guys camp arms, you think, Rosen and McCarron, or is that legitimately who you're rolling with as a backup to, uh, to Brissett if, if Watson gets four, six, eight games? It could be one or two things. I think the most it could be is probably a camp arm, right? Like maybe they bring in somebody to be a camp arm, see if they like them more than what they can get out of uh, Josh Dobbs in the early part of the season, whenever the Watson suspension is. Also, it could just be a, hey, let's go, let's see what's up with uh, AJ McCarron. Let's see how Josh Rosen is doing. If it comes up during the year, if we need another quarterback, hey, we did this research on AJ McCarron in uh, the, the summertime to know, hey, we can either, which one do we like more? Which one had a better workout? Um, you know, this might just be the Browns just, you know, keeping an eye out just in case, you know, if they have to go through a third quarterback, right, or if they have to go to Josh Dobbs, they can find somebody from relative short notice that they feel like comfortable bringing in. Um, I don't know what the practice squad rules are anymore. I know eligibility is much different than what it was in years past. Might also be a move there, right, when they release the final 53. If they see one of these guys, you know, maybe they're available, they could put them on the practice squad and kind of have them in the same role that they had. Um, the the four-string guy last year, I forget his name, um, Blaine Gab not Blaine Nick Gabbard. Mullins. It was like Blaine Gabbard's backup. Yeah, Nick yeah, Mullins. Yeah, Nick Mullins. Yeah, there's a similar situation there where they didn't really bring him in for camp. They had uh, the uh, the younger guy in there last year, but then once it came around, they needed somebody for a game. They brought in Nick Mullins because they were familiar with him because they worked him out. That's all this really is. If they need a guy in, in a in a in a hunch, we're gonna do some research, see who's out there, see how we like them, how they're looking currently, um, so that if in the case happens, we have better information on that. And I think that's really all it is. It's amazing to see this became like a big story. <laughs> I, I don't know. The thirst to like to not have Jacoby Brissett be a starter if the Sean Watson is suspended. I, it's one of the weirder like fascinations I've seen um, with the Browns in the storyline ever because it's like every time another quarterback gets brought up people jump to is this the Jacoby like nah man like I don't think this is what y'all want it to be I don't I don't understand it but you know I don't know it, it, it's been a weird thing to watch